Hello there guys, it's Stephen here back with another video and it's a lazy Thursday afternoon so I thought I'd talk a little bit about our Academy plays. Yes, I know you know that I love doing that but I wanted to talk about it for a reason. Now, you may know that I've been partnered with The Athletic recently, the new home of football rank. It's genuinely a fantastic resource, an excellent Manchester City coverage. It's got a world-class team of writers over there including the likes of David Ornstein, Danny Taylor, Michael Cox, Jack Pitbrook, Rafa Honigstein and our very own San Lee and Sam Lee's article today that I'm going to talk about in a little bit more detail. But before I go into this article, I want to say you can go and get this completely ad-free, no annoying pop-ups website and app and all that kind of stuff over at theathletic.co.uk forward slash esteem company right now. You can get 50% off uh, an annual subscription, so it'll be about £2.50 a month. Honestly, I, I got this app and I paid for it before I even partnered with The Athletic myself and I've not regretted it at all. I found myself sat there going to work, reading high quality, considered coverage. And in 2019, when an era of clickbait and all that kind of stuff. We need uh, uh, content and pieces from journalists who actually care about their craft. And that's why I'm so genuinely delighted to be working with The Athletic. Go and download it in the link in the description. I mean, it does cost, but as I said, 50% off. It's only about £2.50 a month. It's worth every single penny. I can absolutely promise you that as someone who's already subscribed to it myself. And that is generally something I did before I even got this partnership. It's fantastic. But we're going to talk about uh, one of some of these articles today. He, he, um, he's called this, as you can see on screen now, City's Future, a Rich Blend of Stockport and Catalonia. I absolutely love, I genuinely love that headline. Uh, if you don't know, uh, Eric Garcia is obviously Catalonian. Uh, Stockport's finest Taylor Harwood Bellis is from there interestingly enough by the way we had Phil Foden from Stockport and also Adrian Bernabe uh, is from uh, Catalonia as well so we had a really weird mixture of those two areas during this game but yeah this article is all about how uh, we could see Manchester City's future centre back pairing being potentially this and I want to talk about that in a little bit of detail today and about how these two could save us like somewhere around of £100 million in the transfer market in terms of centre backs now I want to initially look at uh, City's current centre back situation Laporte obviously will be here for a very long time. He's currently injured. I suspect he will still be Manchester City for a while. Uh, John Stones, I think, will hang around even though he's injury prone. If he does hang around, I suspect he'll be third choice at very best. And then you've got obviously Otto Mendy, who I think could potentially be uh, tempted by a move away from the Etihad in the summer. So imagine if he goes. I think then we will have Fernandinho as well, of course. Fernandinho, I think, will stay around for another season. He could be a backup defensive midfielder at that point, or he could easily just carry on being a centre back. For what it's worth, I think he will be very very good which does kind of leave us slightly though weak at the back I know we've got four senior players there I think one will go one is going to be older and who knows what's going to happen with John Stones injury and we don't know if Laporte's going to come back at his very best either touch wood he will be absolutely fine but it does leave a big question mark there and can these two these very exciting 17 and 18 year olds be uh, the future Manchester City's events Taylor Howard Bellis and Eric Garcia both highly rated can they actually be that for what it's worth I think we will buy one senior centre back because I don't think the plan is to use uh, Fernandino there forever. I think mean, that's understandable. If someone like Otto Mendy uh, does go, getting someone like Ruben Diaz is fine. But what I want to see is that uh, these two do get a crack of the whip because they could save us so much money. And the important thing is, as this article states as well, I'm going to bring up some of the quotes from Sam Lee's here. He talked about... Um, as you can see on screen now, how they actually already have a partnership. Sam wrote, Howard Bellis and Garcia have already suggested that the old makings of a fine partnership, and they showed that at Deepdale. Both are excellent in possession, capable of carrying the ball forward before laying it off or firing a pass through the lines. Bellis, uh, Howard Bellis at six foot two is more ideal height for a centre back than five foot ten Garcia, but they showed on Tuesday night that they know when and how to switch men when the ball is pumped down the middle of the pitch. And this is genuinely true. One thing you get about being a Manchester City player, uh, uh, obviously, as an academy player, is that you get to play around your, your, your colleagues and your teammates. And I genuinely believe that uh, Howard Bellis or Garcia, they both benefit from playing alongside each other. I know like playing with the seniority of Nata Mendy or Fernandina might have helped them as well. But I think they probably felt more comfortable having someone alongside them that actually understood their game. And I do believe if we could find a way, a perfect situation where these two could um, get into the team together in the long run, we could actually solve uh, our defensive uh, problems. We generally could have the future of our defence right there now obviously it take a lot of work to budge Laporte but imagine a situation where we've got um, Laporte Stones and then these two as our four centre backs in a couple of years or something like that so they'll be about 20 and you've got uh, Stones and Laporte both mid to late 20s at that point 
it just works really, really well. And the familiarity, and obviously the fact that they're from the academy, shows that they know how to pass the ball around, they know how to pass it out from the back. And that stuff is really, really important. And more than that as well, uh, as the article says, um, Howard Bellis has a connection to the club. As Sam wrote, the Stockport lad who usually attends City matches home and away on an ordinary season ticket is rated as the best English centre-back of his age group and the high-profile figures in the academy already have been marked for a distinguished career with a senior England team. Uh, and that's great, isn't it? Like, he goes to Manchester City matches. I think he's actually a Stockport fan, but given the fact that he's been at City since he's a kid, he goes to, obviously, Manchester City games. He obviously has a very, very close affinity to the club. His granddad, I think, one of the last words that he actually said to him, to uh, Taylor before he passed away in the summer was basically encouraging him to go and uh, do it at Manchester City. And Howard Bellis had dedicated the game afterwards to his granddad. He has that emotional connection. His family are blues. His granddad is a massive Manchester City fan. He's been going games uh, for a long time. And that makes a difference. Having players that can come through and have a connection to the club, it will just mean something. And someone that tells me that Eric Garcia as well, even though he doesn't have that local connection, would genuinely enjoy making a name for himself over here in Manchester. Maybe one day he could be tempted back to Barcelona or something like that. But I think he'd like to trust in his decision to leave Barcelona. He's an intelligent man. And I think he'd love to be part uh, of a team as good as Manchester City's. Um, I'm not saying they're ready now. I'm not saying that at all. But I do believe these players, um, they have what it takes to save us a lot of money. And what I, what I don't want to see City do is rush out and block their roof unnecessarily. I want to see how we feel at the end of the season. And if Laporte and Stowe's and Otamendi are looking decent as well, uh, and Finadino is actually a good centre back. Then, do we really need to rush out and buy one in the summer? Can we maybe just let it get that kind of squad gap kind of open up naturally for these two? I personally would like to see that happen if the circumstances are met. I also, I do agree that in general we'll needs from a senior at some point, but we have a lot of options there, and I would hate to uh, basically block the, the path of two very talented young centre backs. They're absolutely excellent, uh, and what I like about it, as I said earlier, is that they know each other's game. That's the dream scenario when you get academy players that come from together they're just better they grow better they grow stronger they know each other inside out and you get a chemistry that you can't learn on the training ground that you got from when they're being kids together that stuff is absolutely invaluable uh, and I think that could be huge for Manchester City's team do I think we'll see him again in the next round now we've got Southampton well I think Southampton is a very good draw for us I think they'll obviously uh, play uh, a bunch of their reserves as well given their current predicament in the Premier League they aren't having a great start they are struggling a little bit at the moment and I think uh, Raf Hasenhutl will use that chance to maybe rest a few players because we're playing Southampton in that same week as well I think so I think you'll basically see um, this is a bit of a nothing game for them while they try and maybe get a point against us in the Premier League or something like that maybe in try to go for three points you never know so I think we will actually see them play I think Guardiola will stick to that I think he'll play those two in that game which is absolutely huge for them as well they'll get another chance to show their, uh, how good they can actually be together this time against more distinguished opposition as well an absolute higher level and that would be massive for them that would be great to see if they can actually do that and as I said as well in the other video I do think they're actually learning from being around the first team and also from being around in the Checker J Trophy Tournament I know they didn't play in it this, this round obviously because they were playing with the first team which is more important but having that experience alongside uh, players and playing against men in that competition definitely does them uh, a whole world of good and they're, uh, they're learning a lot I really like them. I think they're naturals. I think the fact that they've got that kind of understanding of how to play, the fact that they can both pass the ball, they can both read the game. One's a little bit strong, which is fine. One's a little bit smart, which is totally fine as well. They've got the natural makings of a partnership. And it just means more, doesn't it? I just It just means more when academy players come through. This is just very much a personal thing, but... When you watch City spend hundreds of million on players, it's good fun, it's exciting, but eventually, it does feel a little bit like cheat mode, you know? It's great that we were so astute at signing players, and we sign great players, and sometimes they're not always big stars, they're the next stars, and I love that we do that. But sometimes you want something to relate to. Um, it feels like... Uh, it feels special when you get a youngster coming through. And when you see Phil Foden get his debut, you see Taylor Howard Bellis come through, he's a 17-year-old Stockport lad. As someone who's from Manchester, uh, seeing someone with a similar accent to myself or whatever, talking in the press conferences, someone who sounded like my mates growing up, that kind of stuff actually means something to me. Yeah, it, bought, it kind of um, helps birth this kind of connection between the fans and the players themselves because there's sincerity there. You know that when they do that or when they kiss the badge or when they hold the badge or tell the fans that they love this club, you know that they actually actually mean it because they've been there they've been in the ground they've been watching the team as they grow up they know what it feels to be like to be a Manchester City fan or be around this club when we weren't all that um oh, even though they're young enough to be good I suppose when they were, when he was growing up but they get the connection and that stuff is important and even Guardiola knows that I think to an extent look at the team that he built at Barcelona that was built on a bunch of La Masia um products 
players that would bleed for the club, that would fight for the clubs because they, they understood that connection because they grew up there. And that stuff 100% makes a difference. It makes a, a, a great team to an exceptional team. It's always better, in my humble opinion, to win stuff with some of your own than it is just to win stuff with someone else's. I honestly believe it's more fun. I'm not saying it's uh, any less or anything like that. It just adds that extra level of just like significance. And I would love it if we could do that with Taylor Howard Bellis and also have that kind of cattle influence there. And the fact that as well, that yeah, you wouldn't know looking at that sometimes who is if you basically if you couldn't see them all that kind of stuff you wouldn't know that either of them uh hadn't put uh was you wouldn't know that one was spanish given how physical he was and you wouldn't know uh one was english given how technical he was on the ball as guardiola said after the game that he played not like a typical english defender which is the biggest compliment from guardiola that you can give to taylor howard bellis and he meant that as a massive compliment because obviously he doesn't underrate english defenders but most english english defenders aren't known for the comfortables on the ball anyway guys go as well and get that 50 percent offer over at my link uh, athletic.co.uk forward slash esteem company so we've got a world class team of writers the home of football writing go and check out Sam Lee's articles go and check out Michael Cox's articles Jack Pitt Brooks Rafa Honigstein absolutely loads of people it's a fantastic app and I'm delighted to be part of them it's absolutely brilliant go and share and sign up now in the link in the description go and check out uh, the rest of my videos as well like subscribe comment and I'll see you tomorrow for a match preview